World men's 1,500 meter champion Timothy Chariot will lead a team of five Kenyan runners in a virtual 2,000 meters exhibition race as part of the Impossible Games, a behind closed doors Oslo Diamond League event on Thursday. The Kenyans who will be running in Nairobi will compete against a squad led by the trio of renowned Norwegian Inger Bristin brothers, Jacob, Philip and Henrik in Oslo. CGTN's Mohamed Abubakar tells us more. Rongai Athletics Club, home of Kenyan World Men's 1500 meter champion Timothy Cheriot, has stepped up training for the delayed start of the international outdoor athletics season in August. But ahead of the resumption of post COVID 19 competition, they have accepted a virtual challenge from the Norwegian trio of Ingebrigtsen brothers. Meetings nowadays are on virtual, nobody goes to the boardroom. But what happened to the sports? So we are trying a different normal by having a virtual competition, competing at different uh, stadiums. Dubbed the Impossible Games, the Maori Plant Memorial Race on the 11th of June will see Team Chariot run behind closed doors at the Nyai National Stadium in Nairobi to take on the Ingebrigtsen brothers who will be running in Oslo, Norway in a virtual 2,000 meter race. We're going to be running without fans in the stadium. That's one challenge. We're also going to be running at a very high altitude here in Nairobi compared to them in Oslo. But we always believe in our training and we're very confident we'll overcome all these challenges. Coach Bernard Omar relishes the middle distance rivalry between his charges and the Ingebrigtsen brothers, Jacob, Philip and Henrik, and says their threat should not be underrated. Uh, history doesn't forget. We've uh, done a lot of competitions with the Norwegian brothers. Right from under 18, he was beaten by George Manangoy. Under 20, he was again beaten by George Manangoy. The Diamond League, Timothy has been winning since 2016. The World Championship, oh, we won again. This is the same people we are competing with. That doesn't mean that they can't beat us, but they have to dig very deep. Chariot is excited to be running alongside close friend and training partner, the 2017 World 1500 meter champion Elijah Manangoy, who will be returning to the track for the first time since his lengthy injury layoff. I believe in my team. First of all, I'm so happy that Elijah Managoi is back. He's recovered very well from his injury and looks very strong. I also have Edwin Melly, who has been in camp for three months. So he's in good shape and the whole team is in great shape, really, including the pacemakers. June 11th will witness a unique race here at the Nyaya National Stadium as the two teams compete thousands of miles apart. For the men's 1500 meter world champion Timothy Cheriot and his team, this will be another perfect opportunity to remind the Norwegian Ingebrigtsen brothers and the world that this event still belongs to Kenya. Mohamed Abubakar for CGTN, Nairobi.